All right. So I got to get a little personal with this one. Uh, today, November 30th, my mom passed away from uh, COVID back in 2020. And it's an odd coincidence that they're releasing this show on this day, which I consider to be like her heavenly birthday. If you do believe in an afterlife, the day someone passes away is the day they're born on the other side. And let me tell you, she loved the original movie. Like, uh, Coming to America was her favorite, but a Willow was somewhere up there, really high up. She really liked it. Even if I don't like it, I'm pretty sure she would have, no matter what. So let's go ahead and check it out. Hopefully it's not too bad. Willow. In a time of dread, a child was born. Ah, the Laura princess. Dannon, Laura Dannon, that's right. World, was rescued by two <laughs> a little red hair. Unlikely heroes. A Nelwyn farmer who dreamt of being a sorcerer. Willow, a Willow. Ah, hell yeah. Rogue. Rest in peace, man. Mad Martigan was the man I'd marry. No, he's not even dead yet. Never mind. He is the greatest swordsman that ever lived. Willow was a man of pure heart and unfailing courage. The other, an impossibly conceited thief, liar, and rogue. Oh, come on, man. Why do I gotta diss him like that? Mad Martigan was the man I'd marry. What can I say? I was young. Here we go. Here we go with the man bashing stuff. Yeah, he was a thief. He wasn't loyal. He didn't care about anybody but himself. But at the end, he changed to a different person. Now they want to just erase that and that's messed up. I don't know. I don't like that. Her true identity concealed. Even from herself. Oh. It was the only way I could protect her. Oh, she doesn't even know. Ah, that's gotta be her. The prince, I believe, is hunting in the western wood. Hunting? I wonder who's hunting today. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, mother, we got your message. We just race back. We just gotta... Oh, there she is. We should wash up really quick. Why do you look like you've been rolling around in grass? She was a badass in the first, uh, What's that? in the movie. It should have started with the dwarves. So far, it doesn't have the charm of the original movie. It's no different than uh, Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon. You married Mad Martigan. Nothing easy about that choice, but at least you made it for the right reasons. What? What are you dissing him, man? Everything I've done, I've done to protect the people I love. I know they couldn't bring him back, but they should have given him a more noble reason why he wasn't around. Why? You don't even know me. I am grateful for the opportunity to serve the realm. Sorry, excuse yeah, I've never me. seen this plot ever before. With my betrothed here. Somebody being forced into marriage. Sentenced to a life I didn't even choose. No one chooses their life, Kit. Or their mom. That's right. And if oh, you tough, man. You should have met mine. I just spoke to Graydon. He was actually not such a terrible guy. You just get to know him. He's going to talk to the king, smooth everything over, explain I think results. you should stick to chasing girls. These guys sound so but American and like so modern. You're incapable of understanding and are not your concern. Not her, but the younger people. Everybody loves you because you're so charming and fun. As long as they don't expect anything from you. Because the moment that they do, you'll just leave. She just is like not likable. She's gay. Of course. Careful. I'm always relatively careful. Uh, like his pop. Your strength. Whoa. Grandma's still in action. I think it's really dark and foggy to help with the CGI. I think it makes it easier for him. A leading man, if I've ever seen one. Be their guide. And I'll pardon all your crimes. Ready? Even the one in the 
The adventure began. Yep. Terrific. Okay, all the sorcerers are gone. There's one. Yeah. <laughs> Nelwyn. The there you go. What was the bad word? The, feeling the expecting you. slur they used against him. Seriously? You brought a flute? Yeah, was that not a good idea? My nan believed that music was a balm for the soul, so... This is not some jaunt. Your chance to see the world, it's dangerous. And those things that took Eric, they're not just gonna give him back. I really don't like this character. Jesus, that's who he looks like. Well, if you're not vigilant at each moment, I swear you will not survive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. I have to be the old dude. Yeah, this is exactly why you can't come with us. Shut up. See, in the movie, only one of them had a skull mask. Which made him look you different, unique, made him stand out, made him more um intimidating. And now they all do. Find the child, kill the bees. I mean you're a very you're a very pretty person, but uh I just think you should be in love with someone before you commit to spending the rest of your life with them, right? He's gay too. Oh, uh, this has to be uh Willow's village. Are you sure this is the same village my mother was talking about? It's the only village in the valley. Oh, uh, don't tell me it's like oh, abandoned or something. Terrific. Just what I need. What happened to you? Plenty. Hey! Be careful. It'll happen to you too. We're looking for the sorcerer, Willow. Hey, he hasn't aged much. <laughs> Had you though, didn't I? Beyond the edge of our world. Into the unknown. It's the only way to... To... Uh, he's gonna know it's not her. Never mind. No, what? You shouldn't be here. But it's so good to see you, Elora. I, I am not. I'm. I'm nobody. You are Elora Dannon, last blood of Kyrie. Ah, good little twist. Empress. I like it. I thought it was her. Centrum sources of the nine realms. Because of the red hair. What? Okay. That kind of saved it, but it was still terrible. On to part two. Hello, hello. <laughs> Chapter two, the high something. There he is, once again. If we don't change things. That's why I came back. Oh, a little de-aging. Because it's time. I'm High Aldwin now. I've become what Rosella always said I would. A great sorcerer. So oh, he finally did it. My dear friend. You are the bravest man I've ever known. And you have the truest heart I ever will. But you're not a great sorcerer. Oh, come on, man. And you never will be. What? Prove her wrong, Willow. So I guess she had red hair at birth and then it turned blonde. I wonder if the brownies are gonna make a little cameo. What happened to his wife? To Willow's wife. Oh, that's his daughter. We've suffered, sacrificed, grieved, toiled, and endured. And that's just on the weekend. Duh. I like to try and loosen them up a bit at the start. <laughs> anyway, I will consult the bones. Yeah, the bones. They tell him nothing. Well, you know what? No, no, no. She's not uh, the princess. He put that on her, that mark. It's still going to be the girl with the little curly red hair. He's trying to hide who she really is. Who Ooh, the princess really is. Do the finger test. She ought to be able to pass that. Finger test. Finger test. Finger test. Finger test. Finger test. Finger test. 
Princess, pull my finger. When he's ready. You'll give her this. Oh. She passed the mark. Maybe he put it there. It wasn't there. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. And even if it was Rizel, how do we know she didn't mark a bunch of babies? And maybe you have one too. Maybe you're a Laura Dannon. Maybe I'm a Laura Dannon. Come on. That'll make it too obvious. Oh, I'm bursting full of better ideas. But first, I recommend that we uh, split before Miss Chosen Face catches wind and decides to follow. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> split. <laughs> Look, much? She is a Laura Dannon. Willow's going? good, man. He's good in this. The rest, I don't know. His wife. Hey, where's he at? No rest till we find the girl. What's gotten into you, Commander? She really wants to know. It's such a oh. feeling. What is? Purpose. Oh, zombie night. A vampire. Have you ever had the feeling there was something happening beyond what you can see and touch? No, like the Matrix. <laughs> this should have been made into a movie it's a powerful magical instead of a nowhere near ready for. TV okay, show. Well, I love Eckleberry Jam, you know, on a, on a toasted bun, a little bit of melted butter. It's delicious. Really looking forward to that. So you keep up the good work, Laura. Yeah, so I, I'm, very, I'm very excited. Just ignore him. The hell was that? Last time I saw you, your hair was red. Prue rubs lemon juice in beetle blood in it to change the color. <laughs> oh, I had to come up with a reason. <laughs> Why are you so I have little ones, Mims and Rannan. And they're even smaller than me. I think you'd like them. I know they'd love you. Wait, 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 come back. I was only, I didn't mean anything. He was trying What's to happening? Oh, not. What did you say to her? Nothing. It was... What did you think? That you'd just slip away and I wouldn't send every knight in the kingdom after you? Stay back. I'm warning you. Oh, oh you're what? What the hell's going on? Disappearing pig trick? She's as much mine as she is yours. If you think I'm ever coming back here after the disrespect, from what? now on I'll protect my people. I don't care what happens to you or her. Oh, man. What was that about? Just because the little girl ran away, Go to sleep. their friendship went away. If you leave now, you'll probably catch up with him. You wouldn't lie to us, would you? Peck. Oh, there you go. That's the word. No. Peck. Peck, 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 peck. Ninja star. See, this guy's trying to be the new uh, the Matt Morgan, but nah, it ain't working. Right about now, it's really dragging. I'm just... Ordinary. Boring. You think that's funny? <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> Stupid ass modern music, man. Thank God it's over. Oh, man. It's so hard to watch this, man. It was really hard to watch this TV show. Talk about dragging. Oh, where do I start? They're annoying. I could tell they're not going to be memorable. They're not funny. They're not interesting. You can't help but to compare it to the movie, and man, almost every single character in that movie was memorable. Even the troll, the two-headed dragon, or three-headed, I forgot what it was. Man, this is so bad. This is like a sign of the times, man. This is how bad things have gotten. A few, I think like two funny parts in both episodes. Like I said, I don't like what they did with the... Um, Val Kimmer's character, Matt Morgan. Right, right. right. The little dorky prince dude, he's nothing. All of them. Trash, man. And that's what I'm going to title this video. Willow 2022 is 
trash, garbage, hot summer garbage. The music, why would you put that modern music, man? What the hell is that about? And I'm trying to think back to the original movie. None of them, even the ones who had that American accent, they didn't sound modern. There's a way to talk where you don't have to have an English accent or old English or whatever. And you can still sound, you know, not modern. I was hoping it was good, man. I was going in hoping, thinking that maybe it might be good. I'm, I'm going to try to watch the third one, but I ain't looking forward to it. So, from 1 to 10, a minus 2. That's like the lowest score I can give. Do I recommend it? No. Can I watch it again? Hell no. Catch you on the next one.